the LG V20 is a hit and today I'm in the video about the Meta E2020 aka Meta E7 so I'm on uh, Meta's website here and the Meta E2020 has been announced on Friday so the so Meta E2020 got announced on Friday uh, so this is a bucket small phone so it's pretty cool um, it's available in midnight blue there so I um, mean, you know, a nice looking phone and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of the color, but the phone looks like very nice. Uh, this is the seventh generation of the Meta E series, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so it says here twice the camera, double the power. Uh, so you guys will get 13 gigabytes of storage, and the phone will be available for $149.99. So, uh, not too bad. So that's fine back and front there. So you so you go get the two cameras on back, which is pretty good. Camera flash, yeah. Well 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 this is my FM pen sensor, so the frame pen sensor on this one. And then you will get a notch so if you find facing camera. Power and van keys are on the right side of the phone. And there it's my back. There's your uh, RAM keys and power on the right side of the phone there. Micro SD and some parts are on the right side of the phone right there. So this is a nice one. I'm just not a fan of the blue color. I'm just not. And you guys will have speaker. Uh, that's token that's type C right there in another phone and stuff like that. So pretty nice wallpaper right there as well. So this phone is new. Be nice for the front facing camera, new piece, power of iron keys. Uh, phone home, two cameras in the rear, camera five, so logo, no fingerprint here, I think, but I'm, it don't look like that. Trying to paint things so about to be wrong. Power of iron keys on the right side of the phone now. Uh, right side of the phone again, like I said, iron keys and power. Uh, no, this is the uh, okay. uh, 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 off the light. So yeah. <laughs> so 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 Meta is all about giving you more more studies that stand out with a dual camera system or power with a battery that I can go for up to two days. That's what they claim on all their phones. But that depends on the user though, so you keep it in mind. If you're a heavy user, you will not get two days out of this, you will not. If you're a light user, you could possibly get more than two days out of it. And more fun thanks to an ultra wide display. Pretty favorite movie shows, apps, and games. Dual cameras, fantastic photos. Take photos to remember what they fast like it's in 13. On the pixel to a camera system, play with depth of field by adding beautiful bouquet effects to your portraits or have fun swapping out background entirely with cut out mode. Better photos powered by AI. So you do get portrait mode on the Meta E, which is pretty cool. So this portrait mode adds an artistic blurry effect to the background for professional looking close ups. Spot color mode, pick one color to keep, then turn everything else in the photo to black and white. Auto small capture. Capture everyone at their best by automatically snapping a photo when everyone in the frame is smiling. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, cut up mode, change the background of the photos with any time in your Google Photos library. So that's pretty nice. Put your motor on. Up to two days of battery. Of course, like I said, that just depends on the user, but if you're a heavy user, you will not get two days of battery. If you're a light user, you could get more than two days of battery if possible. It says stream movies and music for hours. 
Play game longer and browse the top of that small. You, you have a 35-50 lamp better designed to carry for up to two days. More screen equals more fun. Bring your favorite movie shows, websites, and games to life on an ultra wide 6.2 inch Max Vision HD Plus display. You'll love being able to see some modes and still hold maybe a comfortable in it. it. says you will love being able to see some modes and still hold maybe a comfortable in one hand. So you will get a 6.2 inch display, so it's pretty decent size there. Not too bad. I think the Meta E last year had what, a 6 inch display, I think, if I remember. The Meta E6 I think had a 6 inch display, I think. I'm not really sure. Oh, ultra responsive performance. Your favorite apps, games, shows, movies, and more. Forms. Says your favorite apps, games, shows, movies. The more it runs smoothly and respond instantly. Thanks to a Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 octa core processor. So that's the same processor as the Meta G7 Power from last year. So not a bad processor there. This is a budget phone, so they keep it in mind. So it's not a bad processor, alright? Your fingerprint is your password. Oh, okay. Okay, there is. It can print sensor on the back. I didn't think it had one, but it does have to print on the back. So that is, that's a win. It says, unlock your phone. It's another phone tab of the thing pen reader on the back of the Meta E. So you do have thing pen reader. I said, um, I said you did not have one, but you do have thing pen reader. So that's a nice feature. More features you'll love. Water repellent coating. This is not waterproof, so don't submerge your phone in water. If you get a, if you get like uh, a little, a, if you get a little bit of water on your phone, you should be fine. So it's a water repellent, waterproof. A water repellent design keeps your phone protected inside and out from spills, splashes, and more. Like I said, it is not waterproof. Also, have people lens uh, on board as well, so that's a uh, cool app to check out. It says identify landmarks, objects, and more with the smart camera capabilities of the gold lens. Movie experiences make everyday interactions more convenient with exclusive media experiences. Chop down twice to turn on the flashlight or get a quick glance of notifications without unlocking your phone. 32 GB of storage. Simple photos, videos, and more with 32 GB storage and add, and add up to 512 GB more to a micro SD card. So I think it's like a. Uh, I think it's 3 GB of RAM. I'm not really sure about the RAM on this. Is it a 2 or 3 GB? I'm not really sure about the RAM though. But you will get 32 GB of storage and a micro SD card so up to. So you do get dual camera system on the, on the back. Uh, you do have it um it says the thirteen replacement main camera with face detection all the focus capture of your subject and the both of an eye wall and depth sensor allows you to get creative and add a beautiful blur effect to your portraits. Branded for today and tomorrow. With a 35 50 lamp battery, go for up to two days before having to find a charger. Stream music for 103 hours of shares and movies for a million hours. So that's pretty cool. A uh, 6.2 inch max version AC plus this one. That is a 7 p panel. So, uh, and that's better than nothing. Uh, like I said, this is a budget smartphone, so I do keep it in mind. This has been movies, shares, websites, and games to live on an ultra wide screen that gives it a maximum viewing thanks to a 19 by 9 abstract ratio. A bigger screen to body proportion means you can still hold Moto E comfortably in one hand. 
Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 processor, clocked at 1.8 GHz octa core, powers all your apps, games, and more. So you, find this one is linked to every touch, tap, and sweat. Okay, so you have Android 10 on board, which is again up there to give lots of raw storage. Your sensors you have is thumb parameter, proximity sensor, accelerometer, ambient light, SAR sensor, e compass, Snapdragon 632 processor, 1.8 kHz optical, X bundle memory, up to 512 gigs, and that's 2 gigabytes of RAM. So, uh, eh, it's okay, I guess, but, um, you know, this is a border phone. So, it's 32 gigawatts of memory and 2 gigawatts of RAM. And you have fingerprint reader on the other phone, right? Okay, and uh, battery size 3550, 5 watt capable, 2 days of battery life, 5 watt charger. Display is 6.2 inches, next nice version that is HD Plus, that is 720 by 1520, that's 271 ppi, and you get SVN to body ratio of 85.54% there, it's an IPS. The display technology is IPS TFT LCD, and it is a 19 by 9 ratio. There's a dimension side. Uh, like I said, the, uh, like I said, this has a water current decoding. Uh, it, is, it is not waterproof, so it also has a kind of water. Uh, it is made of plastic, and you do, and you will get a micro USB charging, not a Type C. So I was wrong about that. So you will get micro, you get a micro USB charging, which is kind of sad in 2020 of course but it is what it is it's available in many of the cameras you can get two cameras in the blue that's a 13 megapixel face detection autofocus with an f2.0 amateur lens and then a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera with an f2.2 aperture lens and a single LED flash in the rear your camera video software simulation, time lapse, and Apple Maps. Video, uh, front facing camera, we record at 4HD at 30, Symphony P at 30, Rift camera software is auto small, auto small capture, high resolution, HDR timer, long mode, portrait mode, cutout, spot color timer, live photo, live photo cut. Wall filter out, put watermark, brush shot, brush shot, Google Lens. You will get a 5 megapixel front facing camera on the front with an F2.8 aperture lens. And for the video recording on the front is 4D at 30 frames or HD at 30 frames. On the rear camera on the video recording, you will get. 4HD at 30 and 60 and HD at 30. Wow. I'm facing camera software, auto, small capture, portrait mode, fair, face beauty, HDR, manual mode, watermark, brush shot, brush shot, photo mirror, time lapse screen, uh, time lapse bar color, live photo, and live filter, wall photo output. Start coming just as software. Front facing camera video, software, time lapse video, and hyper lapse video. Uh, audio is loud and ported loudspeaker, headphone jack, and two microphones. You do get, you do get Google Assistant on there as well, also the mega display. You can also get that better accent as well, which has fast flash slide 3, finger screenshot, screenshot editor. Flip to flip for do not disturb. Pick up to silent media control. Uh, 
you will get built to 4.2 never enough C. So if you guys are ever looking to do uh, Google Pay, this one's not for you. Uh, your Wi-Fi connections are 80 to 11, ABGN, dual band Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot, GPS, and it takes a minute some card and one micro SD card. What you guys in the box is the better 2020 smartphone along with the charging USB cable which is micro which is a micro USB cable your guide some tool and stuff like that so you know so uh, do you guys have it the in 2020 is not here um, I think it's released on Friday June 12th for 149 uh, the Moto E is going to a lot of carriers, it's on a Metro by T-Mobile, Verizon pretty good, um, Ting, uh, this phone's going everywhere, I think, I, I, I think it's going to be small too, I think it's going to be as well, I'll probably stay tall, cricket, it's going everywhere, this one is going everywhere, um, so the Moto E 2020 will be available on a lot of carriers, so that's pretty cool. Also, this is a brand phone, so that's you know not you know the phone looks very nice and it does have a pretty decent specs for what it is. Um, so you know, nice looking phone. I don't like the blue color. I don't. Not, I'm not a fan. I think if it was, was in like black and white, that'd be nice. If, you know, like the Moto G Face is a double and white. So. This one is on red one blue, and so, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, do you guys have it? The Moto E 2020 has been announced by Motorola. I think it's released on Friday, June 12th. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys, and let us know a lot. Peace, and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I'll get you guys in this one. Peace out.